Hey, what's up? Today we're doing a little camera animation. This is really easy when you have your own city or your own scene and you want to make a camera animation. This is the easiest way. So here's my little scene. I just did it for this video and I want a camera going through the city. And the easiest way to do this is with a curve. So the camera is following the curve and that's why I'm adding a busy curve. So with Shift A, I'm adding a busy curve. And with GZ, I'm moving it a little bit up and then I'm going to the edit mode. And to see this better, I'm pressing seven for the top view. And here's my Bezier curve. Now I'm moving the curve to make it through the city. With R, I'm going rotate this. And again, E for extrude, rotate, rotate. Like this. Again, E. Yeah, and for your purpose, you can do this more detailed because I'm doing this a little bit simpler. So here's my curve and for me, it's okay for this video. And here's my camera. So then we are going to the object constraint properties. And here we are adding an object constraint and in this case, it is a follow path. Follow path. And now we are choosing the Bezier curve under target. And you can see right now that here is a line between the camera and the curve. And when I'm pressing space, you cannot see anything because you have to press animate path. So it's animating it. And now you can see the camera is going through the city and following the path. But my problem is the line. And this is also really easy. You're pressing the camera and then you are pressing on the keyboard Alt and G. And right now the camera is at the origin. That's why you have to press Alt and G. So here you can see the camera is now at the curve and it's going through the curve. When you say it's too fast for you, this is also not a problem. You're choosing the Bezier curve and then under object data properties, under path animation, you can say, for example, I want 200 frames. And right now you can see it's going much slower. And when I'm pressing zero, I can see what the camera is seeing. Yeah, and if you don't like this, it's really simple. You can take the key animation. So I'm rotating this like this. And then with I, I'm writing this into my key animation. And yeah, I'm choosing rotation right now. And for example, here, when it's here, you cannot see anything. That's why I'm also want to change the perspective. Again, I rotation. And now you can see it's following the keys here. And of course you make this more detailed because you want to have a smooth animation, but this takes more time, but this is it. This is a camera animation following a path. Really simple. I hope you liked it and it helps you. I forgot one thing. You can do this also with every object. You do the same thing with the camera with your object and then your object is following the path. Really easy.